Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Master Ray as the black Protoss, bottom left hand corner. Sorry, is this right? Sorry, upper right hand corner, we have Doodle as the blue, midnight blue Protoss, who looks. <laughs> what is with the colors with PvP recently? I feel like oh, they all are trying to mess with me with the minimap and every, whatever. This is Doodle, upper right hand corner, bottom left hand corner, we have Master Ray. I am actually casting this one. On the 10th, which was not on a Tuesday or Thursday per usual, but BSL Season 12 has started, and they want to get the rest of BSL Season 11 finished, so we can move on. Doodle Doodle, uh, I do not know much about. I like his name, which is part of the reason that we were doing this grouping instead of the other grouping. Master Ray, I'm very familiar with. He actually has a lot of amazing tutorials. He actually created a battle simulator, uh, so you can kind of check out different unit compositions going up against different unit compositions. He also is a very efficient player, kind of in the ilk, a little bit different than LZ Gamer, a little bit different than Quark. He actually, as far as I know, plays fairly heads up in his style of play, but you'll see he plays at a very low APM, but his E APM, which, which is efficient or effective APM, so I think the way they say it, effective APM, is extremely high. So he's very, very precise with his movements and very, very clever uh, with his choices and doing things and, whatnot, uh, and things along those lines. We do see a gateway opener. We have a gateway op opener for Doodle on the opposite side. Both these guys, very competent players. Doodle going ahead and plopping down an assimilator and a scout out for both players. They should arrive. Well, actually, no, it looks like Master Ray was fidgeting a little bit. I'm wondering if he was trying to find his opponent or if he just kind of mismicroed the, the probe a little bit. One thing I wonder, Four opponents going up against Master Ray, knowing his style, knowing that he tends to play at a lower APM. I almost wonder if they if that changes their mentality and build order and things like that. And I'm almost wondering how often when they do that he is able to punish it. We will see as the game goes on. I do want to sing his praises overall because he is a fantastic CPL coach. He actually was the coach of my team, which ended up winning CPL this last season. Um, speaking of which, check out CPL Discord, that is Collegic, or Collegic? No, the Coach People League. CSL is blocking it in my brain. Cybernetic score up for both players. Look like, looks like that Cybernetic score is going to be up significantly faster for Doodle. We do have three probes on gas. A little bit of harassment there from Doodle on the probe line. But if you're look, basically, if you're looking to learn and get coaching in StarCraft, there's no better place. And I wish I could have dedicated more time, but I got crazy busy and had a lot going on. And so I wasn't able to dedicate all the time I wanted to. And now I'm dedicating time to StarCraft commentary instead of playing. Well, maybe I'll get around to it. Cybernetic score spinning. Master Ray sees it direct. He is opting to build a Dragoon first. No spinning Cybernetic score yet, which we'll see if he does that once he has 150 minerals or not. It could be that he's thinking about saving tech. The other thing is, is after this initial Dragoon is produced, usually that happens well before the Cybernetic score is finished. And so sometimes, usually you'll see weapons 1 being upgraded in those instances. But it could be he's also trying to, and we'll see if he keeps it now that this probe's going out. Looks like he is going to keep it, so he is in fact going to go one gate into Dragoon. Opposite corner, first Dragoon out, second Dragoon building, and we do also see the range upgrading comparatively. A little bit of a advantage to Master Ray, only in the fact that he's produced not a Zealot. He just produced straight Dragoons, and Dragoons especially in the early game, are more effective, basically before the leg speed to have a bit of an advantage. So if he decided to get... Actually, never mind, take it back. He built a Zealot. He got that probe kill as well with that Zealot, looks like. Ignore everything I'm saying. <laughs> zealot and Dragoon hang out on that front. Robotics facility, so one gate robo. This is the this is almost... Back when I was playing, this was the build that kind of was defined to me, at least, as the standard thing you do. One gate robo, sometimes observatory, sometimes nexus, depending on what your opponent's doing comparatively. Doodle still has this probe trying to sneak in, try to get an eye on what Master Ray is doing ahead of time, know whether he wants to produce a robotics facility or in fact go for an observatory. Just two Dragoons, and I think this might be an indicator to him depending on how Master Ray decided to play it, is this is still just two Dragoons chasing him down, not a third Dragoon. He's going one gate robo as well. Range is just about finished for Master Ray. Let's see if he continues to hunt things down. Opposite corner, we do have a gateway that was plopped down for Doodle. So Robo's up, second gateway's up, and you have several Dragoons. Looks like three Dragoons running forward. The misfire chance was working to that probe's advantage momentarily, but then getting swatted. Three Dragoons and a Zealot now in taking position, and it looks like they might dive into the natural expansion. They might 
Nice spread here from Doodle ahead of this. He's positioning as though he's going for a Nexus. And Master Ray trying to get scouting information himself by pushing into this, getting some initial Zella hits from his Dragoons. But between the trade, I think Doodle's going to end up with the better part of this. He's got four Dragoons sliding down. He ended up losing one Dragoon, so it's one Dragoon for one Dragoon. And Master Ray is going to take some free damage on the Dragoon now in flight. But not enough to really chase this down. Observatory was produced for Doodle. Two gateways, and we see a robotics support bay comparatively for Master Ray. That Reaver about one-eighth finished. Now the question is, is, does Master Ray go for some Reaver Harass while he tries to establish his own expansion? Really what he's going to need to do, and that would be deadly for him, he needs to hold position because this is one gateway that is going to be producing more Dragoons comparatively. The Reaver will be able to do more damage, and basically a single Reaver well microed will overcome... Didn't mean to zoom there. Will overcome your opponent comparatively as far as additional gateway advantages, but... There is room for Micro. Probe plops down the Nexus. Doodle taking the far way around with that Probe. He didn't want to hit anything across the middle. Master Ray also going the far way around. Wants to try to sneak past any forces that were trying to stop any sort of scout. Doodle plopping his own Nexus down. And it looks like he was holding the first Observer at home base just in case of the DTs because he really didn't have any indicator of the tech opposite corner. And now I think this Probe might be able to sneak in and get a good look. We'll take a look. Yep. Oh. Wrong, wrong player. Yeah, he got a good look at the Nexus, so now he knows what he's up against. And as a slight... Oops, didn't mean to go all black there. And as a slight bonus, he also saw the Reaver. Which means he knows that his opponent went for Robo. And he also, as a small bonus, got that Scarab. And that's not a huge amount of minerals, but, you know, it's a little bit of minerals. Two additional gateways for Master Ray. Still two gateways sitting here for Doodle. I think Doodle's Nexus will come on... Well, actually, no, Master Ray's Nexus because of that... Single gateway is actually going to come online much more rapidly. Nice micro there on Doodle's part. Really heads up. He was able to pull that OBS back. So it's going to be OBS on OBS <laughs> trying to sneak that. But Master Ray is going to get his expansion up a little bit sooner. It's still dead even, honestly, overall. Yeah, that Reaver is in position. It doesn't have a shuttle, though. Reaver's just now popping out for Doodle. Master Ray is going to be in a position to produce additional units more rapidly comparative to Doodle, and he's going to have that expansion up just slightly faster. So he's going to have just a slight edge going into the mid game. But if you look at things, we are just about dead even. Master Ray has a one probe advantage, which is practically nothing, and a three supply advantage, which is, again, not insurmountable. Doodle positioning himself to go ahead and take that one o'clock base, it looks like, go for a longer macro game. Sending another probe in rather than an observer because he doesn't want to get any of his observers picked off to kind of sneak what he can. Three Dragoons chasing that off. An observer moving out for Master Ray. I think once he sees these pylons, the other advantage of these pylons at the one o'clock position is that they provide additional scouting information against any sort of reaver drop that's moving in. Speaking of reaver drops, Doodle is getting that shuttle speed upgrade, which suggests he's going to go for kind of some speed shuttle harass. Observer making its way across. I think an observer just got killed. I missed it as an observer was plopped out of that. I think this observer over here made its way this direction, wanted to get a look at the gateway count. Unfortunately, I don't think he got a good look at the amount of gateways here. And so Master Ray is going to have a window where he's gone. He's been four gateways versus two for a good period of time. So for the next, I don't know, three minutes or so, if he can get a shuttle out, which is about halfway finished, he might have an opportunity to push into Doodle's natural expansion and maybe get something accomplished there. The critical thing will be the timing here, because this shuttle is going to be produced. It's going to have speed. If Doodle sneaks out there and does some harass, he might be able to keep this army back, get his own expansion up, and proceed and maybe take any advantage from there. We'll have to see. Observer moving down. Three Dragoons out in front. That Observer needs to be very careful. And that, that Observer could be critical. This could be the hero, the unsung hero of this game. If it sees this shuttle making its way across, it does not look like it's going to. Right as this is happening, it looks like Master Ray is gathering up. He's sending an initial Dragoon foray across the middle of the map to kind of check things out. Killed the probe that was making its way across. So this is just an initial scouting force to see what's out there in, in position. Five versus three here. Shuttle waiting nearby. And let's see if this, if he does a full dedication on this. He also has two Reavers, by the way. And this is one Reaver that's not here. This actually might be Doodle's Doom, because Doodle's going to drop here. He might drop, get some kills on these probes. It looks like that's already happening. But he's going to lose these three Dragoons here. 
and that might trigger a full all-in from Master Ray. And I don't know that he has enough forces to fight this off. He's going to be in a funnel. So significant losses at the natural expansion. Now diving in, that sacrificial zealot just going to sit there and die. Two reavers on the ground. Two reavers comparatively. Nice observer advantage. This is going to be a good reaver spread. You can see Doodle moving some. Look like moving some dragoons up to get some spread on the high ground. I don't know that he has enough to fight this off. This is just overwhelming force. Four dragoons sitting against several at that natural, and that reaver is still sitting there pounding away at this. So his natural expansion now going to get sacked, and that might be game, although this reaver has a number of kills at the natural expansion. It is still alive. It looked like Doodle was microing there rather than microing at his front. Probe's doing some damage. They have retreated to the high ground. Another reaver out, and this is four gateways producing, a fifth gateway being plopped down. But Master Ray still has a reaver, several dragoons. He's managed to kill the observer, so it doesn't have spotting. So Master Ray... Also fleeing, there's action happening both directions. His mining has been disrupted. Master Ray's down to 11 probes. So while all that's been happening on the front, Doodle's been doing some work with this Reaver. So even though Doodle lost his natural, and his loss, he's effectively taken the lead, he needs to be patient with this. He's got several more units. He's actually pulling the shuttle back. He might want to take that shuttle back to home base. So yes, he loses his natural, but he's up 42 probes to 11. And it's going to take a while for Master Ray to recover those losses. All he has to do is produce a, another Dragoon Force, get another Observer, and then make his way to the south. I do like what Master Ray is doing in the meantime. He's plopped a Dragoon here at the 1 o'clock position. And another drop. It looks like a Reaver once again plopped down trying to get additional disruption in mining. He has really obliterated Master Ray's. And I think this might have been part of the plan. Also moving down into the natural, getting a couple clears. I don't know if he got... Yeah, it looks like he managed to pick off that Reaver. So basically... Moved with that Reaver at the main to get a distractionary opening against Master Ray. Kind of using his lower APM against him. Diving in, was able to take out that shuttle. Was able to get a lot of damage done at the main. And now he's able to reestablish his natural expansion. So Doodle, after all of that action, just because he's completely... Ooh, is he going to lose a shuttle here? He needs to be very careful with this. Through some nice multi-pronged attack, has reestablished his natural expansion. He can honestly walk up, retake... His 1 o'clock base, probably. He needs to be very careful with the shuttle. I think he just lost his Reaver. Somewhere here. Probably to that Dragoon. This shuttle limping its way home. Master getting what he can, trying to take that 1 o'clock base. And now Doodle in a commanding position all of a sudden. Two Reavers that is natural to defend. Master Ray down to just 17 probes. He has four gateways that are just pumping units. Things looking scary for him. Zealot Leg Speed also being upgraded back at home base for Doodle. He should be able to get that natural up without too much trouble. The question is, is does he want to double up or does he and just kind of play it one base from there? Does he want to get aggressive? Two Reavers in the speed shuttle here. Ooh, this could be a pivotal moment. Is he going to lose both of them? Nice, my Oh, loses the shuttle anyway. Three vacant shots. That was excellent path planning for Master Ray to expect that shuttle there. That is a huge sweep. Picking off two Reavers when Doodle was looking to get aggressive. Now he is up several shuttles, has a significant Dragoon Force on the ground, and might have another shot to pull back in this game and clear it out. Doodle's natural expansion now up and running. Still about 10 supply ahead. He needs to resaturate his probes to seal that advantage, but he still has a much smaller ground force on the ground. Observer getting picked off there. So Doodle needs to really delay here on the front, get some more reinforcements there to keep an eye. Master Ray sees all of this happening here as well. Master Ray starting to get his production back up. He's still just sitting at 20 probes comparatively. Just diving up that high ground, pushing Doodle back. Doodle needs to, yeah, regroup. He is going to have Zealot leg speed, and those Zealots can make a huge difference in these fights. One Reaver in that shuttle, plopping on the low ground. Not able to get a shot off. The Zealots trying to push up. Doodle's just overwhelmed here. It would take a miracle of Micro to win this fight. He needs to produce and produce quickly. Has to see the high ground. <clears throat> and he might end up getting sealed and losing his natural one more time to Master Ray. I like how he's backing off, creating a pincer attack opportunity for a round of reinforcements. A couple zealots here. And now, yeah, they are sealed in. Units coming from the left. Not a lot of reinforcement units coming from the right. There are a handful of zealots. The, the reavers right on top of that zealot line. And it's also kind of funneling them in. They're split attacking. Some are attacking the Nexus. Some are attacking... 
Beautiful shot from the Reaver on the high ground. It gets taken out rather rapidly, and Master Ray protecting his Reaver rather well. And Doodle has to call GG. It was just overwhelming force. Very back and forth. So Doodle ends up losing it to Master Ray just having an overwhelming amount of Dragoons and Reavers and able to walk into that natural expansion. Very back and forth. That is, that is an excellent game one for this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will cast for Twitch. I will cast the rest of these games tomorrow. And for everybody else who watched this on YouTube, thank you for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're wondering my schedule on live casting for this sort of stuff, and by the way, I typically do it uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays. I've sometimes started casting as early as 9, but usually no later than 11. For like, usually somewhere in that ring. Usually I'm starting at like 9.30. Tomorrow it'll probably be 10. Uh, and then going from there. But Thursday's a little bit more. Point being, in the morning, around lunchtime, this is all Pacific Standard Time. I should mention that. PST. Uh, so keep an eye in that space of time. AM. Not PM. Because I'm not a... I'm an oldie. i got to get to my sleep. also got a daughter. Take care of that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.